Hi, I'm Jill, your pharmacist for today. Hi, are you having an asthma attacks? Do you want to learn some of the drugs that are used for your asthma? If yes, let's talk about one of the famous asthma drugs that are always prescribed by the doctors. So now let's talk about the different kinds of salbutamol. But first, let's know what salbutamol is. Salbutamol is used to relieve symptoms of asthma and other asthma-like conditions such as chest tightness, wheezing and coughing in adults and children aged for years and over. Salbutamol can also be used to prevent asthma symptoms which occur with exercise or on exposure to an allergen, such as cat or dog fur, pollen or house dust. These are the different dosage forms and brands of salbutamol. Syrup For children aged 2 to 6 years old, they can take 2.5 milliliters to 5 milliliters, 2 to 3 times a day. For children aged 6 to 12 years old, they can take 5 milliliters or 1 teaspoon 2 to 3 times a day. For children above 12 years old to adult, they can take 5 milliliters to 10 milliliters or 1 to 2 teaspoon 3 times a day. Before using the syrup, you should shake the bottle first. Use the oral syringe or measuring device that comes with your medication to measure out your prescribed dose. You can take the medicine with or without foods. Now, let's go to tablets. Salbutamol have two kinds of milligrams. This are the example brand of salbutamol to milligrams tablet. Children aged between 2 and 6 years, the recommended dose is 1 to 2 milligrams 3 or 4 times a day. Children aged between 6 and 12 years, the recommended dose is 2 milligrams 3 or 4 times a day. Children over 12 years old, the recommended dose is 2 milligrams to 4 milligrams 3 or 4 times a day. These are the example brands of salbutamol from milligrams tablets. For adults, the recommended dose is 4 milligrams 3 or 4 times a day. Your doctor may increase this gradually up to a maximum of 8 milligrams 3 or 4 times a day. Elderly or patients known to be sensitive to this product or other similar drugs, the recommended dose is initially 2 milligrams 3 or 4 times a day. Now let's go to salbutamol inhalers. These are the example brands of salbutamol inhalers. For children, one puff increased to two puffs if required every four hours up to four times eight puffs in 24 hours to relieve symptoms. To prevent symptoms caused by exercise or other triggers, the recommended dose is one puff increased to two puffs if required 15 minutes before exposure. For adults, one to two puffs every four hours up to four times, eight puffs in 24 hours to relieve symptoms. To prevent symptoms caused by exercise or other triggers, the recommended dose is two puffs 15 minutes before exposure. Do not use more than two puffs every four hours up to a maximum of four times up to eight puffs in 24 hours. If your inhaler does not relieve your symptoms for at least three hours, then contact your healthcare provider. This is how to use the meter dose inhaler. First, shake the device for two to three seconds, then take a deep breath and then exhale completely and place your lips tightly around the mouthpiece. Next, with your lips tightly around the mouthpiece, inhale slowly and deeply for two to three seconds while pressing the inhaler canister, after that hold your breath for 10 seconds, keeping your lips pursed, then exhale. After using the inhaler, regularly wash and dry your inhaler as instructed. Another dosage form of salbutamol is Rotacap. Here are the examples. For children to 12 years, one Rotacap 200 micrograms inhaled via Rotahaler 3 or 4 times daily, the maximum dose is 6 rotacaps in a 24-hour period. For adults, 
One or two rotacaps to 100 to 400 micrograms inhaled via rotahaler three or four times daily. The maximum dose is 12 rotacaps in a 24-hour period. This is how to use the rotahaler. First insert a rotacap, transparent and first, into the raised square hole of the rotahaler. Next, rotate the base of the rotahaler so that the two halves of the rotacap separate and release the medicine which is inside the rotacap. Lastly, breathe in as deeply as you can through your mouth. Hold your breath for as long as you comfortably can, breathe out slowly. Now let's go to Salbutamol Nebule which is put inside the nebulizer. Here are the example brands of Salbutamol Nebules. Intermittent treatment children aged 18 months to 12 years. The usual dose is 0.5 mL to 1 mL to 5 to 5 mg Salbutamol of Ventolin Respirator Solution. Intermittent treatment adults and adolescents aged 12 years and over. The usual dose is 0.5 ml to 1 ml of respirator solution to 5 to 5 mg salbutamol. Some patients may require up to 2 ml 10 mg salbutamol. Intermittent treatment may be given up to 4 times per day. Continuous treatment. The usual dose is 1 to 2 mg of salbutamol per hour. This dose can be obtained by diluting 1 or 2 milliliters of respirator solution to 100 milliliters with sterile normal saline solution to produce a solution containing 50 or 100 micrograms or mol of salbutamol and inhaling the mist from a suitable nebulizer. How to use the nebulizer? First, place the medicine into the medicine chamber. After putting the right measurements of the medicine, Attach the mask or mouthpiece with medicine chamber, then connect the tube with compressor. After that, turn on the compressor for nebulizer. Inhale the medicine through the mask or mouthpiece. After finishing the medication, turn off the compressor nebulizer. After use, throw away any solution remaining in the nebulizer bowl, and clean your nebulizer in the recommended way. Now let's go to Salbutamol Dry Powder Inhaler or Aculer. One inhalation taken up to four times per day is usually taken as needed to relieve symptoms. One inhalation may be taken 10 to 15 minutes before exercise or exposure to a trigger substance to prevent symptoms. Do not take more than one dose up to four times in 24 hours. Wipe the mouthpiece of the dry powder inhaler with a dry tissue to clean it. Do not use salbutamol if you are allergic to it or any of the ingredients in it. You are pregnant, think you may be pregnant or intend to become pregnant. You are breastfeeding. If symptoms persist, call your doctor. That's all for today. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more information. Thank you for watching.